Good evening, I'm Darren Danielson. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. We begin tonight with a powerful message about second chances and finding good in every day. Back in 2006, John Creasel was serving overseas in Iraq when everything changed. Now, 13 years later, he's turning what was a very dark day into a brighter one. Renee Pasal with his story. Uh, so I joined the Minnesota National Guard on my 17th birthday because that was my dream, that was my goal. That's what I wanted to do since I was a little boy. John Creasel's dream took him to Iraq. During a routine patrol, it turned into a nightmare when his Humvee hit an IED. Oh, I don't remember flying through the air and I don't remember landing on the ground. His legs nearly blown off. I was pretty sure that this is where my life was going to end. He remembers closing his eyes, but his buddies kept hitting him to stay awake, and he shares that part of the story with a smile. It was basically a punch to the face. They were like, dang it, I said stay awake, and I'm like, unbelievable. I survived a 200-pound bomb blast, and my friends are trying to beat me to death. Medevaced out, he barely survived the flights out of the war zone. He woke up at Walter Reed Medical Center. That's where he heard the blast had killed two of his friends. That is the lowest I've ever felt in my entire life. But he took that moment to start living every second to its fullest since his two friends could not. That included grueling rehab and meeting President Bush and now, 13 years later, as a motivational speaker. It doesn't matter how big or how small that adversity we face is. It's the attitude that we bring to the table that will help us overcome that adversity and overcome anything in life. But with a positive attitude and a sense of humor, not only will you get through that adversity, but you will thrive. Although his story brought tears to people's eyes, he said he didn't want anyone to feel sorry for him. As crazy as it sounds, I'm happier now than I've ever been in my entire life because I appreciate life. I appreciate every minute of every day. As you could probably tell, he likes another word that begins with H, humor, and it resonated with this crowd. He uh, gets a second chance, and I know uh, as people, we sometimes feel that little things really bother us and they can be uh, seem like an end all, but he didn't let this major, uh, his major injuries um, and his, his purpose. He's written a book, Still Standing, and it definitely fits him. I'm Renee Passal for WDIO News. Thanks, Renee. Great message, huh? Creasel is a veteran service officer in the Twin Cities area, by the way. He's also served in the Minnesota legislature for one term. We have a link to his website, WDIO.com.